Hi everyone, I'm Kristina Blazin. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Milo Massimo. We're a Salesforce CPQ partner. So in the previous videos, we started discussing about conditional print fields. So let's dig more into this topic and suppose you don't want the discount column. Let me show it. So here we have it. So you don't want the discount column to appear on your quotes if there are no values in it, in order not to make your customers wonder why they are not getting a discount. So the logic behind this would be to make this column appear only when the sales representatives have entered the discounts. Otherwise, the column should disappear while the other columns uh, take the space it leaves. This can be achieved with the help of conditional print fields. These are fields on the quote object that control whether a line column or a section, so whether a line column or a section will appear or will be printed on the generated PDF document. So previously we looked at how the conditional print field works for uh, sections. For example, the cover page, and we have here the conditional print field. We already know that it's a um, pick list. Here it is. We already have several options here, and we know that we have to paste the API name of the field that is going to drive whether this appears or not. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, take a look at how this works for a line column for the discount percent column. So um, allow me to explain here the logic behind the conditional print fields. So these fields could be a checkbox. And when the checkbox is marked true, then that line column or section will appear. And if the checkbox is false, it, it won't appear. Now this field could, could also have a value like text or a number or a number that's not zero. So in this case, the line column or the section will appear and otherwise it will not appear. So uh, the field we're going to use for this purpose to make the discount percent uh, line column appear conditionally is the quote formula field name uh, additional discount amount when it has a non-zero value. So let's go to setup object manager, the quote object, fields and relationships, and take a look at this uh, field. Okay, here we have it, so the formula field. So um, it makes sense to use this field for the conditional print field in our case, because it shows the difference between the regular amount and the custom amount. So if there are any discounts um, that have been applied anywhere in between the regular amount and custom amount, um, so that's after our discount schedules. So it's going to make the column appear. Uh, but first, uh, let's not forget and copy the API name of this field because we're going to need it uh, a bit later. Now, uh, while still in setup, uh, let's go to the object manager again and find the line column object. Here we have it. Again, let's go to fields and relationships and find the uh, conditional print field in order to update its values. So let's scroll down. Value, let's click new and paste the API name of the field and save. Now let's go to the quote template and update the discount percent line column. Okay, related, discount percent, here it is, add it. Let's find the conditional print field here. Here it is and voila, save. Okay, now uh, let's go back to the quote and uh, see whether this quote template is excluding the discount percent uh, uh, column as uh, expected from the PDF document.
as you can see, there is no discount column here because we need it hidden. Notice that when conditional print fields are used to hide a column, it allows by default to make up for what's missing and the table spreads back to 100% because it knows that the column is just hidden. But if the values on the conditional print field change, so the column uh, should come back again and be visible and uh, it needs its uh, space back. Now I want to show you a field on the line column record. So it's called uh, discard with when hidden, it's a checkbox. Um, so uh, when we check this field, uh, CPQ does not reallocate column uh, width. Personally, I think that uh, the quote looks more organized when the table is spread to 100%, but in case you need it, you should know that there is such an option. Let me show it how it functions. Okay, uh, let's preview the document again. Okay, here it is, so missing column. All right, so thank you for watching. See you next time.